Right, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm gonna to be running down everything wrong with my cheap forged engine Subaru WRX. The cheapest in the country, in fact, but cheap for a reason. So, if you didn't catch the first video where I showed you the car, it'll be linked just up here or there, one of the two. Go watch it, please do familiarize yourself. Uh, obviously, this is gonna be a weekly series, so hopefully you will stick around for it, but today, Let's run down everything wrong with it. I've got a fairly long list here. Uh, first and foremost is the clutch. Now, I actually know why the clutch is bad, but if you watched the previous episode, you'd know the circumstances of me getting the car, driving it home, clutch blowing out on a four lane motorway, um, and me thinking that it was probably gonna be like the slave cylinder and things like that. So. I know now that it is the clutch, um, although I do have a video coming up which will show you how to replace the slave cylinder whilst also bleeding the clutch slave cylinder, but it is the clutch, sadly. So I have a Xidi pink organic clutch which is rated for 450 bhp, but the clutch that was put in there was put in there about 2015. I've looked through all the paperwork that I have with the car and in 2018 was when this car had its engine rebuild. So if you don't know, it has a fully forged engine. Forged block, forged pistons, forged rods, and that engine has only done 10,000 miles, which is why it was such an appealing car. But the clutch they put in it was dirt cheap back in 2015, had all its rebuild work done, and inevitably it just wasn't right for the car or the power. So unfortunately, clutch. But realistically, that's the biggest thing I think that we'll have to do with the car. Now, secondly is the steering wheel. Because if you've seen, well you'll see now, the steering wheel is jank. It is horrendous. I don't know why anyone would put that on a car. It's the worst steering wheel I've ever seen. So uh, in, in a future video, I've actually got it already. Uh, I have a Momo Pro Drive Subaru wheel. So OEM, complete with airbag and things like that. So it's no longer a death trap, I guess. Um, so that's something which does need to be replaced and replaced pretty quick because the steering wheel is not the nicest to use either. It's really, it's not a nice, you know, it's just not nice. Um, I do need to replace the head unit. You would have seen it in the introduction video. The head unit wasn't even seated properly. There was no brackets, which basically means the whole center console wasn't put together properly. It, they just pulled it apart. Um, so I will be getting a new head unit. It will be just a dirt cheap Android head unit because I want to show you how you can, you know, do up an, a reasonably nice car on a reasonable budget. So it will be the cheapest Android head unit that I can find. If I can find a reversing camera with it, we'll do that as well. I just want to, you know, show you you can do a car on a budget. Um, and also just, I'll be doing all the installing myself and things like that. So that's something which does need to happen. The the brake discs and brake pads. Now, the front pads are actually good on this car, but the discs are not. So the rotors, the, the, the brake rotors are awful. Um, there is a massive lip on them, so they need to go. The funny story is that they are drilled and grooved, but if you touch them, they are so worn down that there, are, there is no grooving anymore and the drilled holes for the ventilation are so blocked up with crap they're never going to ventilate anything anymore so i need to do both of those uh, the pads are fine on the front pads on the back are horrendous when i take all of that off i'll, I'll check the handbrake shoes um, or the e-brake shoes as you guys call it in the states so we'll check all of that as well but that is something which desperately needs to be done because it is dangerous that is a fast car 360 bhp 350 torque it's, you have to have stopping power, so that desperately needs to be done. Uh, the wheels, the wheels have to be refurbed. They are really, really nice wheels, actually. They're a forged wheel, OZ. Nice wheels, really, really nice. Uh, expensive as well if you were to buy them new. Uh, forged wheels are very, very lightweight. They are very strong, but they need to be redone with the paint. Um, and there's not really any curbing on them, but as a whole, it, it just needs to be redone. Um, they need to be re, just, yeah, corrected. Um, we also need to do the gear knob. So the gear knob is fine, but if anyone knows anything about buying a secondhand car, it's not nice. Gear knobs are not nice, they're pretty gross. So I will be changing that to a weighted one. I get a bit more weight behind it, which is obviously better for shifting gears. 
So gear knob will be changed, very, very easy mod, uh, but makes the interior of the car that much nicer and it makes it feel better to drive, which is super, super important. Now, one of the other big jobs that needs to be done is a turbo refurb. On there, I need to remember the designation, but I think it's a VF35 turbo, which is for uh, Subaru WRX, which are a little bit newer. They're rated for more power. It has very little spool time. Um, there's no lag, it's just it's constantly boosting, um, which is great. <laughs> it's really, really good. But there's ever such a slight leak on the turbo. Not enough for any smoke, any issues with pulling. It, there's, it's so light, um, but it does need to be done, obviously. So rather than going down the route of replacing the turbo altogether, I'm just gonna send it down to a company called Turbo Dynamics. I've seen that they do great work um, so I'm gonna send it down there. They actually have a week's turnaround time. So I'll talk you through all of that, the process of it all, um, and that will be on the channel. That will be a, a whole refurb job uh, in and unto itself. We also need to replace a lot of bolts in the engine bay. There's some bolts missing that hold in the intercooler, which is obviously annoying, um, which is part of the bracketry. There's also some random bolts at, at the front. There's no engine bay hoist you know, to hold the, the bonnet up the bonnet latch. Um, there's also just some random clips missing from the center grill that's gone. We also need to do the scoop, the intercooler scoop on the top of the bonnet. It doesn't have any wire mesh, which I, I will want to put that in there just because stones and things like that and leaves and cramp, obviously I don't really want to get into the engine bay. So we need to do that as well. That's a very quick job, but something which does need to be done. We also need to do intercooler piping, so not major. Um, it's just starting to show some signs of wear and tear, so need to do that because obviously can't really have intercooler piping going and obviously best to be preventative rather than you know, replace when it's actually gone. Uh, the paintwork is actually really good. Um, it's not that bad at all, but obviously it will benefit from having a paint correction, you know, a day or a few days. Um, we will probably do that ourselves, me and my friend Nick. We have a machine polish, so we'll probably talk you through how to do that. It's not that hard, um, but the whole car just needs a heavy detail, so paint correction along with a heavy, heavy detail, especially with the interior as well. That'll be something that we do. Um, a lot of people have questioned why I like the green Subaru. Should have gone for a blue one. How many blue Subarus do you see? How many green ones do you see? That's why I like the green. Uh, um, we need to do headlight restoring. They're awful, they are terrible. So they need to be done completely. Very, very easily done though, actually. Headlight restoring is super, super easy. So we'll do that, show you the process of that and that's something which you can then do at home yourself because it's really not that hard. You can do it with machine polishing or sanding. It's the same, it's really not that different. That's something that we need to do. Need to replace spark plugs because in the intro video, I said it was running lean. It's not, it's actually running rich. Um, it's just pissing out more fuel than it should. It's just over fueling. So we're gonna change the spark plugs, see if that's the issue. Just need to overall do a big service on the car. Uh, forged engines take very specific types of oil because it is forged. Uh, need to do, well, it has a K&N air filter. That's fine, doesn't need to be replaced. Might need to be re-oiled um, and just generally cleaned and things like that. But as a whole, that's it. That is everything wrong with the cheapest Subaru WRX in the country. And that's kind of some of the things which I want to do with the car, so it'll keep me busy for a really, really long time. The other slight things, which are very, very minor, the boot liner is all over the place that needs to be replaced um, or affixed properly, so fixed down correctly. The interior center console, the whole center console unit can actually be ripped out, you know, the whole center you know, transmission tunnel and things like that. It can actually be ripped out and replaced with a newer one because Subaru, in their infinite wisdom, when they were redesigning these cars, essentially just did the outside. Um, although the inside's new, it's basically this, the same chassis um, and body and things like that. So the center console can just come out of a newer model and just replace it. Um, so if I find one cheap enough, I will be doing that and upgrading it. It will look really, really nice. But that's it. That is everything wrong with the cheapest Subaru WRX in the country. Hope you stick around. This is gonna be a very interesting build. It's only a weekly series because these videos are not getting lots of views. They're not making money. Um, I think for the first one I earned, it was about 10 pound. 
It's, it's not going to cover anything. Um, I'm doing this for fun. This is just for fun. But because of that, it needs to be a weekly basis because otherwise there's not going to be any content for you to watch. It's just going to be me pissing about being bored with the car not doing anything. So anyway, stick around. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like and please do share it. But thank you so much for watching. I have missed the age. Take care.